Iranian Navy's new forward-basing ship, Irons Makran, was seen on April 28 leaving its home port with seven high-speed missile attack boats aboard and is being considered a suspected shipment of arms to Venezuela. Satellite imagery obtained by Osni News from Makesur show a boat, matching the characteristics of the Pakup family of medium-sized fast attack craft, FAC, operated by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy, IRGCN. Both Iran and Venezuela are under sanctions from the U.S. government and have been restricted from accessing the global market. With few friends, Maduro has leaned into his relationship with Iran, and the IRGC is seeking to capitalize on the situation. Iran has managed to develop a number of military weapons and systems that could be useful for smaller states. It's unsurprising that Venezuela might seek to procure some, Iran expert Afshan Astover, a professor in the Department of National Security Affairs at the Naval Postgraduate School and author of Vanguard of the Ayman, Religion, Politics, and Iran's Revolutionary Guards, told Usni News on Tuesday. There has been concern that Venezuela may attempt to acquire ballistic missile technology from Iran. Some areas of the deck are now covered, so it has not been possible to assess the full cargo of the ship. The ship could be carrying other military equipment not readily apparent from the imagery, the report said. On Monday, Iranian foreign ministry officials asserted their rights to operate worldwide when asked about Macron heading to Venezuela. Mistry spokesman Saeed Khatibzadeh emphasized Iran's legal right to go through all international seas, according to a summary of a Monday press conference from the state-controlled Iran Press News Agency. Khatibzadeh also warned the U.S. officials about any actions against Iranian ships. While it's unclear if the craft seen on aboard Macron are meant for the Venezuelan Navy as part of ongoing arms sales or if the Iranians will drill with Venezuela's own green water forces, the presence of the boats in U.S. officials' belief that the Iranian ship is headed for South America suggests increasing military cooperation between Caracas and Tehran. The latest alleged shipment of craft comes nearly a year after reports of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro showing interest in buying missiles from Iran surfaced. Last year, the Maduro government exchanged nine tons of gold for assistance improving their petroleum refineries, while Iran has also shipped oil to Venezuela. If delivered, the attack boats have potential to form the core of an asymmetrical warfare force within Venezuela's armed forces focused on disrupting shipping routes close to Venezuelan coast as a means of countering superior naval forces. Shipping routes to and from the Panama Canal are near the Venezuelan coast. In the past year, Iran has expanded economic and security cooperation with Venezuela on fuel transfers, food staples, and military assistance, possibly expanding the Quds forces' presence in the region, Usni quoted U.S. Southern Command Commander Administration. Craig Fuller to have said in a statement to the Senate Armed Services Committee. The seven missile craft aboard Macron are each approximately 57 feet, 17.5 meters, long. There are several variations of these craft in Iranian service, although all are generally similar. The latest Pakup 2 type, also known as the Baver class, is 57 feet long and can carry two anti-ship missiles and two 12.75-inch torpedoes.
The missiles could be of the Kosar and Asser types, which are derived from Chinese models with a quite modest range of around 18 nautical miles. The 755-foot-long Macron is designed to be a mobile sea base for small boats and aircraft capable of operating anywhere around the world. The converted oil tanker is equipped with a large flight deck, the capacity to carry boats and other equipment on deck and additional cargo below. The vessel was dissected, rebuilt and armed with sophisticated weapons systems. Like previous platforms, design analysis from reverse engineering procedures was used to build and commission a fleet of clones capable of executing IRGCN missions in Iran's littoral areas in the Strait of Hormuz. Questions were raised about Iran's ability to copy the main performance components of the Blade Runner, specifically the twin 1000 HP Caterpillar C18 inboard engines and Arneson ASD-12 surface drives, but technical experts suggest that Iran may well have the capabilities to replicate these components, and IRGCN leadership claims they've already succeeded. With these systems, speed alone would offer the vessels a competitive offensive and defensive performance edge, allowing hit-and-run activities to be executed with top-notch maneuverability. Comparing these activities to Iranian operations during parts of the Iran-Iraq War, dubbed the Tanker War, it is evident that the IRGCN has taken modernization seriously. Their goal is to replace their underperforming Chinese and North Korean vessels with indigenously produced facts to participate in swarm attacks, a tactic in which waves of small vessels attack a larger slow capital target overwhelming it with small arms RPG missile fire or even ramming it in suicide kamikaze style attacks. Judging by aesthetics alone, the new fleet emits an air of professionalism as depicted in the box-out comparison.